colourful on all sides of politics in the lead up to Saturday's election and today was no different. A group of passionate knitters hit Wagga to make their political views known as they travel across the country taking a stand against Tony Abbott. Sparked by the handiwork of former Prime Minister Julia Gillard, these banners have been crafted by more than 100 people across the country. There were several people who said that her decision to be seen knitting undermined her tough image, as though knitting in itself is inherently weak. It's clear this bunch won't be supporting Tony Abbott or his budgie smugglers come Saturday. And it's sort of every time he opens his mouth, he seems to be um, doing, saying something that sort of undermines women or is patronising towards them. It's really disturbing. Positioned outside member for Riverina Michael McCormack's office, these anti-misogyny activists say they'd like the Nationals to take a stand against Tony Abbott and his views. Well, I was um, asking if maybe the Nationals wouldn't like to um, split off from the coalition. It may not be the typical way to get a point across, but it's enough to draw attention. Look, I went out and uh, had a chat to them. They were very pleasant. Uh, we had a discussion about what they were doing and uh, I actually admired their handiwork. He says he agreed to disagree about Mr Abbott being a misogynist. I would reject that. I think Tony Abbott is uh, uh, very in tune with uh, community needs and expectations. The group maintain they're apolitical and say this is a good way for people to get involved in the debate. By producing a political message in this sort of medium, and in this sort of way means that people can engage and they can engage with a political process. Tanya Dendrinos, Win News.